he's looking at them answering the questions, but they're not answering the question. I, I, uh, yep, called it. Yep, Daryl had an issue with this. He's like, why is he looking at my jury? <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl J9 Eve, and we are gonna be reacting to this officer here. This officer Jeremy. Say hi. Everybody say hi. Okay, so I picked this one because apparently he likes to look at the jury when he answers questions, and apparently that's a talking point. <laughs> so I'm assuming that Daryl's gonna have an issue with this guy because Daryl. <laughs> So we're just going to hop in at the part where he does his little cross-examination. Now, keep in mind, Daryl's in low spirits right now. This is this happened right after he got kicked out for not wanting to show his Coco results. <laughs> his Roro results, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He didn't want to show them, and so he, got, he, he had a, a temper tantrum because they took the results from him. And he was like, ugh. I don't have anything of my own. <laughs> so this is when he came back in the court. So he's like all, you know, head down and shit, you know. <laughs> sad, sad, Daryl. Sad, sad day. So just keep that in mind. If he seems a little low spirited, this is right after that. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, what you got to say? Or how you going to handle this here, Daryl? You're going to manhandle my hope. That's what I'm hoping for. Don't let me down. The third person I came across was also a band member. Uh, she was a female. Her leg was obviously injured. She was being held upright by a couple of adults. And I asked her <clears throat> what was wrong, what was hurting. Uh, if there's anything more serious with her as she was being held up mm -hmm. and she said officer i saw what happened i saw who did mm. this and i said what well, can you tell me yes. And she said a red suv sped through the parade and did this yes uh, honey. she didn't say anything more than that i said oh, okay i was like stay with your family stay with your parents somebody will be by with an ambulance to get you shortly yes and it was all looking for that red suv uh, injured individuals you spoke to would you describe them all as being about teenage uh years mm -hmm. yes. children overruled he may answer Brown, Your Honor. Overruled, he may answer. Well, you know, answer to the question, to yes. the prosecution table or to the jury. I'm not sure. He's looking at them answering the questions, but they're not answering the question. I, I, uh, yep, called it. Yep, Daryl had an issue with this. He's like, why is he looking at my jury? <laughs> Judge. Your Honor, he's over there looking at my jury. My Erica is coming in here soon. I don't want him getting all icy with her. <laughs> That's not your jury. That's not yours. They don't belong to you. And you should know this because you don't own anything. Never have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daryl, you slay me. How did I know he was going to have an issue with this? Because Daryl, because Daryl, he's extremely predictable, this guy. Answering the questions. Mm -hmm. You may answer the question, sir. <laughs> she didn't even address it. She liked The three individuals just, that I met go. with initially uh, had band uniforms on, and mm -hmm. it was my understanding that the band from that vicinity right then and there was a high school band. So I would place them all at teenage age range. Yeah, okay, thank you. <clears throat> Children is what they were. Were you aware Children. that uh, at some point a uh, mm -hmm. person was taken into custody in the 500 block of Elizabeth Street that was related to this uh, incident, sir? Objection, irrelevant. Overruled. I was made aware uh, a little while after my involvement directly in the downtown area, yes. Did you learn the name of the person who had been taken into custody? Yes. What was that name? I knew uh, from radio traffic at the time that it was a Daryl Brooks. I didn't know the date of birth or middle name or anything at that point. 
some point later, uh, after the chaos had somewhat settled, did you have an opportunity to go back and try and investigate the initial complaint you had taken from Erica Patterson? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Did you attempt to um, identify Ms. Patterson fully through police records? I did identify Ms. Patterson fully uh, by positive ID, yes. Yes, yes, and, I did. Uh, did you learn of any uh, complaints that have been filed by Ms. Patterson in the past to other police agencies? Objection. Irrelevant. Um, overall, <laughs> he may answer the yeah. question that's being posed at this point. Uh huh. I did conduct some more investigation mm -hmm. after my involvement uh, in the entire mass casualty incident. When I went back to the police department afterwards, and I was able to verify that uh, Erica Patterson had been involved in other police cases outside of Waukesha. Mm. And uh, specifically, could you find already. anything linking Ms. Patterson to the defendant, Daryl Brooks? Objection hearsay. Overruled. Look at this. Look at this. I did find information through our reporting system and other law enforcement sources to directly link Erica Patterson to Daryl Brooks. Yes. Mm, and did that information also directly link Daryl Brooks to a vehicle described as a red SUV? Yes, it did. Definitely did. Justice, justice. What is he doing over there? What is he doing? <laughs> You're tearing tissue off a of paper. What is you? You know, snot rags is snuck is stuck to your tablet. Is that what's happening? Um, I don't have any other questions for this witness at this time, Your Honor. Daryl, what is you doing? All right, thank you, Mr. Mr. Brooks. You may. Start your cross-examination. They're over there trying to make an origami swan. Is that for your inmate, homie? Yeah, your, your, your love bug? Your, your cuddle bunny? <laughs> Bubba is going to love it, honey. He's going to be like, oh, my God, he's so good to me. <laughs> That's whose large shirt he got on. His boyfriend. I noticed... Uh... Officer Allegedly. Phillips, you are in um, uniform this afternoon. Were you scheduled to work today? Oh, here we go with this. Yes. So it would be fair to say that um, you would be on duty as of now if you weren't giving testimony in this matter. I would be on duty right now, yes. Oh, he like, where is this going? <laughs> Where are you going so, with this? <laughs> it will also be fair to uh -huh. ask um, if it would be fair to say that you giving testimony right now, you're still getting paid for it. I am currently employed by the city of Waukesha right? Police Department on a working patrol shift on a normal shift for myself, yes. <laughs> So with that, I love how he keeps talking to the jury. Though <laughs> he's like, "Oh, you don't like it when I do this." Hey, y'all, <laughs> how y'all doing? Oh, y'all, look at y'all. Y'all looking right good today. Look at y'all. Y'all showed up for it, honey. We gonna bury him in style. <laughs> we gonna shove him underneath the, the prison in style. We're going to shove him underneath of the prison infestion. Because Daryl. And why? Why? Because Daryl. Would it be fair to say that you are getting paid right now as we speak? Yes, I'm getting paid right now. <laughs> like, yes, I do get a By whom? Objection <laughs> relevance. He said, I'm tall, I'm strong, and I have a job. Hey, ladies. <laughs> oh, and look at this. And they're like, you can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. They're going to choose that, Daryl. Look, look, look at you, honey. I don't, I don't know why you would even ask something like that. Sustain. Next question. Yeah, sustained. Um, were you subpoenaed by the plaintiff in this matter? Can you rephrase the question? 
I know that's Were you right. subpoenaed to testify here today by the plaintiff? That's the same question. I said, can you explain it in another way? I know that's right. I was, that was pretty clear. No, it wasn't. Were you subpoenaed to testify by the plaintiff? In it? Daryl is so funny. He says the wrong question because questions and because Daryl. And then he just says, he just comes back with, I think I was pretty clear. I know you do. You also thought it was a good question. You're wrong. That's the point. <laughs> He's like, I think it was an excellent question. Now, if you can't answer it because it was stupid, that's on you. You know, I just, I just can't with you. Yes, I just can't. I was subpoenaed by the Waukesha County Prosecution's Office. There to you go. In this matter. That part. Because everybody is, understands. Can you, you say do. that again, just for the record? I was subpoenaed by the Waukesha County Prosecution's Office in this matter. It's the Waukesha county prosecution's office the plaintiff in this matter objection irrelevant sustained he's steady trying to figure out who's prosecuting him when all he got to do is look to his left <laughs> like daryl just turn your head just, just go like this oh oh it's y'all oh okay I, <laughs> I didn't know i was hearing the voice of something over there but i didn't see anybody so Oh, but it's y'all that's putting me in the prison. Okay. All right. Clear. No, yeah, I'm still going to ask the question because Daryl. <laughs> but <laughs> at least now I know. Do you know of any uh, plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Have you ever seen the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Have you ever talked to the, Have you ever talked to the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Have you ever pooped on the um, Why are you continuing to look at uh, parties that are not asking the questions? Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Because I got eyes. I got eyes and I got something that you ain't got. You know why I'm looking over here? It's because of my freedom. <laughs> I know. I know, Daryl. This is something you are not familiar with and you don't really understand how it works. And I'm not going to explain it to you because you're never going to have to use it in life. And so that would be a waste of my breath. Just know that the freedom sandwich tastes delicious. Just know that. <laughs> you are going to have to take my word for it, Daryl. Because no, you can't have any. No bite of the, of the freedom sandwich for you. Okay? No. Come on, Daryl. Chop, chop. You need to be prepared. You're trying to save your own life here. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. Oh, he's reading the so, papers, um, y'all. <laughs> and the video is kind of uh -huh. hard to hear everything that was said when you uh, pulled over and interviewed the three individuals. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Can you give a little more uh, commentary on what was actually said? Can you clarify exactly? I know that's right. I've been here talking all day. Don't give me these what exactly questions. were you told by the three individuals that you pulled over to interview? Like everything? I don't remember or recall exactly what all three individuals said to me as 1078 and the screams for help by other officials over the radio were directing my attention to figure out what was also going on downtown. What I recall hearing from these individuals is that one of them indicated, one of the individuals that was not Erica, indicated that their friend had been in a fight or an altercation. So mm -hmm. That's when I decided to pull over to try to get more information out of them. She, Erica, told me that nothing happened, that there was just a verbal altercation, that she wanted nothing to happen and she just wanted to leave. That's when another one of the other individuals said, Erica, you need to report what happened. And she still didn't want to. Uh, and that was basically about the extent of it. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, Erica's life got got saved that day. Unfortunately, it cost six other lives and all just to save Erica's because she was still in that mindset of, I don't want anything to happen. When, when in that moment, when that happened, when he approached her, he was very much incapable of and in the mindset of murder. And she still couldn't see that. She still was like, oh, you know, he's just being a dick. <laughs> I ain't trying to be, you know, causing no trouble. Just It was just an argument or whatever. It's nothing. 
give it a little bit of time. If this hadn't happened, Erica would have been definitely, she would have been a casualty for sure. So she got spared by this whole thing. And it's only because those friends of hers pulled up. I can tell you that now. If she had even gotten in a car too, not to mention, if she had even climbed inside that car, if she's just said, probably because she's being a dick and she climbed inside that car, he probably would have drove through that parade with her. She would have been in the car with him when he did it. When I just tried to get her name as these calls over the radio were coming for whatever was happening downtown that was unbeknownst to me at the time. So would it be fair to say that you do recall the commentary of the interview? I'm sorry. Now I will object as uh, argumentative, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Sustained. If you stop tapping your foot, Daryl, maybe you could come up with some better questions. <laughs> I would say, Mr. Brooks, he like the word commentary mischaracterizes the evidence. It's argumentative. So, so it would be fair to say that you do recall what was said after already saying you don't recall. <laughs> it's argumentative. <laughs> Sustained. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? So, huh? Daryl. What is you doing now? At this point, you just playing. You oh, this is just play. You just playing. You just having a little fun, is you? Is this just you having a little fun? Okay, Daryl's having a little fun, y'all. That must be what it is, cause nobody's this stupid. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that anybody's this stupid. So it must be playing a game. And rephrase your question. Say that you do recall what was said after already saying you don't recall. There was the object. same it's argumentative. Oh my God! Wait, Daryl literally just said the exact same thing. He just like he thinks that if you change the tone, that the question changes. Like they're not objecting to your tone, Daryl. <laughs> they're objecting to the question. If they objected to the tone, I guess that would make sense what you just done. But it don't make sense what you just done. Because you didn't change the question. You literally just said the same question. You just made it sound like maybe there was some punctuation somewhere else. <laughs> same. Rephrase your question. Rephrase means change it. Oh, they got to tell it. Oh, he don't know what rephrase means. Shit. He's going to do it again. He don't know what it means. He don't know what rephrase means. It means change, change the question to a way that's not so stupid. <laughs> There. Now you know, Daryl. No one is half the battle. <laughs> um, G.I. Joe. It, it would be fair to say that you responded to a fight at Frank Park possibly involving a knife. That'd be fair to say? That is what the initial dispatch was, yes. Um, was any knife recovered from that scene? or I did not recover a knife. No. Did you see anybody with a knife? I did not see any individual with a knife. Why did you learn like he's uh, who <laughs> reported that there was a knife involved? Uh huh. I do not know the subject's names that actually reported the incident. Though. Look at his fingers, y'all. Look, look at his fingers. It's like. It's like this one is like bent right here, <laughs> like bent at the top. Look at, look at it, look at his index finger. Little lady hands, them lady hands. He got them lady hands. Them is some. Look at, look, look. From your recollection, from your recollection, right. sorry. They're like this. <laughs> he gonna ask the same fucking question. Go ahead, Daryl. You already know Just you're gonna do it. From your recollection, mm -hmm. um, was Erica Patterson being uh, cooperative with the information that she gave you? Erica Patterson was not being cooperative with the information she was giving me, no. Do you recall uh, if the male individual uh, reported any information to you? I believe I heard a male's voice. 
uh, during the time that I was flagged down. I don't recall what information he told me directly. But there was three individuals that you interviewed at that time. Would that be fair to say? There were three individuals present at the time I was flagged down. Yes. And one of them was a male. Would that be fair to say? Correct. Yes. But you don't recall um, him re relaying any type of information to you at that time? What I remember that? hearing a male's <laughs> voice. I don't remember what information. No, I think Daryl just likes to ask questions. Like, he's, he don't really understand questions, but he likes to ask them, though. It's just like, you know what I want to do today? I want to ask questions. Uh, I mean, not necessarily to get the answers. I just like to ask people questions. It's just a thing that I like to do, you know? I'm just built to be the defendant <laughs> who represents himself. It's my fate, my destiny in life, my lot in life, to harass people with questions. Bombard them, if you will. <laughs> that I specific will. person told me at that time. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. What is that tattoo? That don't look like that. Say Xavier. What does that say? Um, just so we're clear on the record. Mm hmm. For the record, what? How about how long did you conduct that interview? Would you say was it a couple of minutes? Or? Mm hmm. I'd have to look directly at the squad video for an exact timestamp. Um, after you interviewed those three individuals, did you uh, later gain any more information of, that, of the incident that you were investigating at that time? I did not gain any further information regarding the specific fight that Oh my God. You know what, Daryl? You have asked enough nothingness questions to last for all of eternity. He don't have nothing to ask this dude. He's just, like I said before, I think he thinks that he has to ask every witness questions. I don't know why he thinks that. I don't know who told him that shit, but it, it just isn't so, Daryl. You don't have to ask everybody. You just don't. You don't have to ask everybody questions. Just because you're here doesn't mean we need to hear you talk. I'm just saying, I hate you, Daryl. Y'all know what to do. You already know what to do. You knew this was coming. You knew that this was coming. You knew. Y'all behave. Because I'm not going to do it. Nope. Nope. Not even considering it. Just not in my plans. Okay. <laughs> Mama love you. Peace.